Hey there, I'm John from MySolarHome.us. I'm a solar professional. I've been doing solar panels since 2009 and batteries for the last three years. I've seen many thousands of solar panel systems being installed. In this video, I'm going to compare three of the most popular solar panels in the US market today. The REC400 Alpha panels, the QCell 400 watt panels, and the Canadian Solar 390 watt panels. These three panels straddle the super premium, premium, and value categories, and they are market leaders in each of their categories. I compare these three solar panels across seven categories. And please don't be surprised if you see my two dogs, Lola and Sadie, in the frame now and then. Let's start with the size of the panels. The REC 400 watt alpha panels at 72 inches by 40 are the smallest of the lot. Number two is the Q-cell panels, 74 into 41 inches. Third is the Canadian solar at 76 inches into 41 inches. Why does size matter? It matters if you have limited roof area. Smaller panel sizes like the REC Alpha will get you more watts on your roof than the other larger panels. But the difference is marginal as you can see. Next, we're gonna look at the efficiencies of these panels. Now, what exactly is efficiency? It refers to how much of the sunlight actually gets converted into electrical power or electrical energy. 100% of the energy that hits your solar panels or barely a 20% of it gets converted into actual electrical energy. And if you look at the three panels, the efficiencies of the three panels, 21.6% for the, for the REC Alpha, 20.4% for the Q-Cell and 19.2% for the Canadian solar panel. So over 80% of the energy from the sun gets wasted. We don't even convert it into electrical energy. But that's where we are today. And it's taken us 50 years to reach this. When the first panels, solar panels came out in 1950, their efficiencies were in the region of four to 5%. So it's been a long journey, but it's a slow journey. Now, an important factor when you evaluate solar panels is how they're gonna do over time. And what we look at is something known as power degradation. Every year, your panels lose a little bit of energy production capacity. It's usually in the region of 0.5% for most panels. But for the REC Alpha panel, they have a low degradation factor at just 0.3%. What this translates to is that even after 25 years of producing energy, the REC panel will still produce 92% of its original rated energy after 25 years. Compare this with the 86% of the Canadian solar and the Q-cell panels. The Canadian solar and the Q-cell are no slouches, but the REC Alpha is a shade better. If you are looking for solar panels, don't forget to write to me at john at mysolarhome.us for a free quote. Another factor we look at while comparing panels is the temperature coefficient. This basically refers to your loss in the power output of your solar panels as the panels get warmer. That's right, the hotter it gets, the worse your solar panels perform. Now in real life terms, what this means is if it is really cold, a 400 watt panel like the REC Alpha is probably going to be producing 300 to 320 watts of energy. That's right. The rated capacity of these panels of 400 watts, you are never going to see that in real life conditions. That is the rated capacity at standard operating conditions, which is like 25 degrees Celsius or 77 degrees Fahrenheit with 1000 watts of sunlight on the panels and no shade whatsoever. And also at, at sea level. Those are conditions which are almost never met in real life. In real life, a 400 watt panel, if it does 300 or 320 watts of energy production, woohoo, that's, it's doing really, really well. Now, as it gets hotter, for example, the day hits 100, your production could go down from 300 to 320 watts to 290 watts. So yes, there is a degradation, but the difference between the three panels in 0.26% to 0.35% means that it's not such a big difference. The REC might be at 295 panels versus the 290 for the other two panels. It is a difference, it does better, but it is not hugely different. In, in the US, the temperature coefficient doesn't matter too much because it doesn't get very hot here. Warranties are pretty standard across solar panels. But the REC Alpha brings you an extended warranty in terms of a 25-year warranty, not only on the product and workmanship, but also on the labor. So if the guys who installed your solar panels go out of business, 
REC takes it upon themselves to replace the panels and give you warranty service without any cost to you, which is a significant advantage compared to all the other panels like QCell and, and Canadian Solid. They have a regular 25 year warranty. Anything goes wrong, they'll replace the panel, but you will have to depend on your solar installer. In terms of, <clears throat> in terms of where these panels are made, the REC panels are normally made in Norway. The QCells and the Canadian Solars are both made in the United States. In terms of pricing, the REC Alpha has a slight premium compared to the other two panels. The price difference between the Q-Cell and the Canadian Solar is marginal 5% or so. And bringing it all together, in terms of size, as you can see, the REC Alpha is slightly smaller than the Q-Cell 400 and the Canadian Solar 390s. Its efficiency is also higher. The Q-Cell is slightly more efficient from, than the Canadian Solar 390 at 20.4% compared to 19.2%. In terms of power degradation, the REC Alpha after 25 years still gives you 92% of its rated energy compared to the 86% for both the Q-Cell and the Canadian Solar. The temperature coefficient is minus 0.26% for the REC Alpha, which is better than the 0.34 and 0.35 for the Q-Cell and the Canadian Solar. The warranty for the REC Alpha is again superior as they have a 25 year labor warranty in addition to the regular product and workmanship warranty that the QCell and the Canadian Solar offer you. REC panels are made in Norway, both the QCell and Canadian Solar are made in the US. And in terms of pricing, the REC Alpha enjoys a slight premium over the QCell and the Canadian Solar, which have marginal difference in pricing. Do like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.